This is what the order of your cognitive functions mean. Each personality type has four cognitive functions, the dominant, auxiliary, tertiary, and the, the fourth one, the last one. These are cognitive functions that we are born with, where they are with us all our lives, they do not change. The first one is the dominant cognitive function, and depending on whether you are introverted or extroverted, it may or may not be the type, the, the function, that others initially see when they interact with you. However, this is your most naturally developed one, it's the one that you default on, it is your your dominant cognitive function it is your function that comes most naturally to you and really defines who you are, how you interact with it as a person. Now your second cognitive function balances out this, the first cognitive function, the dominant one, the auxiliary. It acts as kind of like a, a partner. It keeps the dominant cognitive function in check because if you go too exaggerated in your dominant cognitive function, that, that would indicate that you're under some level of stress. So it keeps you balanced. And depending on whether you're introverted or extroverted, this may be the cognitive function that people interact with and see and kind of feel is, is the real you. So if you're introverted, for example, your dominant cognitive function will be introverted and not be the cognitive function that outsiders will interact with. That would be within you, within your own, your own personal mind, your own personal space. And the second cognitive function would be the one that people interact with, that people see, that people would define as this is who this person is. That is the one that they will tend to interact with until they know you better, until they know you on a deeper level. Now your third cognitive function initially is not a mature cognitive function. The third one will probably come into itself, into its own, into maturity, probably in your 30s or 40s. This is when we find a lot of people tend to mellow out or balance out their personality type anyway thanks to the age, life experience, and if you're in a healthy environment where this third cognitive function is allowed to flourish and develop in a healthy way, then it could be really beneficial for you to develop this third cognitive function and help you become a more well-rounded person. If you're not in a healthy environment, then this cognitive function would develop um, maladaptively and that could lead you into a sort of a midlife crisis or an identity crisis where you cannot balance out your personality the way it naturally should be you can't find that balance. So your first two cognitive functions are pretty much developed and mature through childhood, teenagehood, early 20s. Your third cognitive function will probably develop in your 30s and 40s. And your last cognitive function, your fourth cognitive function is the least mature of the bunch. This is the one that will, when you go into an extreme amount of stress, this is the cognitive function that will surface and it will usually surface in an immature way because it's not a cognitive function that you naturally use or are comfortable with. However, as you get older, this cognitive function will also become more mature. When you are under stress and you are into this, this grip of the fourth cognitive function, you can use your third cognitive function and your second cognitive function to help bring you back into your first dominant cognitive function, your comfortable space. Like for more.